Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Tuesday, February 27th, 2024. Here's what's happening today in America. Ceasefire soon. Underwater cables cut. Grocery store merger. An escape from police custody again. It's all coming up. Then Bill's going to be here with your message of the day. But first, Joe Biden said he hopes that there will be a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas conflict by next Monday. Oddly specific. He said, well, I hope by the beginning of the weekend, I mean, the end of the weekend, he was asked when a ceasefire might occur while at an ice cream shop in New York City with comedian Seth Meyers. He said, my security advisors tell me we're close. We're close. It's not done yet. And my hope is by next Monday, we'll have a ceasefire. It's believed that Hamas still has 130 Jewish hostages in their control. So, I mean, it worked for them. Kill 1,200 Jews on October 7th, but take as many hostages as you can and just wait out the West and get away with it. Incredible. The other day we said this might happen, and it did. The Houthis knocked out four underwater internet cables connecting Europe and Asia. The internet, people think the internet's connected with satellites. It's actually connected by underwater cables. 750,000 miles, that's enough to go around the circumference of the Earth 30 times. The Biden administration has sent very strong messages to try to stop the Houthis, but they haven't let up with Iran's support, of course. Kroger and Albertson's grocery stores want to merge together, but the Federal Trade Commission says, I don't know about that. These two grocery stores are the fifth and tenth largest retailers in the country. How about that? Kroger owns City Market, Baker's, Foods Co., Fry's, and Ralph's, among other smaller stores. And Albertson owns Safeway, Vaughn's, Acme, Shaw's, Tom Thumb, and a few other smaller grocers as well. The companies say, no, we're not going to raise prices. We will be saving money, $500 million by joining forces, and we will pass that on to consumers. Kroger and Albertson's agreed to sell about 400 stores to CNS Wholesale Grocers, who's the owner of Piggly Wiggly. So that's good. We'll get more Piggly Wigglies. The two companies have 710,000 workers and 5,000 stores. This happens way more than I'd ever imagine. A 29-year-old was in police custody for stealing a car from a delivery driver. And while he was being detained, he complained that he was in pain. So they brought him to the hospital. There was nothing wrong with him. But he was able to escape and run away from officers as he was being discharged from the hospital. Schools in the area were put on lockdown. He's been arrested multiple times since 2016. Aggravated assault, resisting arrest, weapons charges. Let's hope the judge doesn't give him any leniency this time because he almost pulled a fast one. I'm Mike Slater from the podcast, Politics by Faith, the great Bill O'Reilly. He has your message of the day. Next. Everything is expensive these days. You know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings, against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Tuesday, as predicted here, the movie Oppenheimer is sweeping the film awards and will win the Best Picture Oscar as well. The motion picture industry is collapsing and this flick represents a quality throwback production that has earned more than a billion dollars in worldwide box office, so there's no way Oppenheimer doesn't prevail. At the Screen Actors Guild Awards over the weekend, the brilliant Robert Downey Jr. won Best Supporting Actor for his role in Oppenheimer and then did something shocking. He thanked Mel Gibson for helping Downey when he was having a hard time. In 2006, Gibson, you might remember, was inebriated and made some anti-Semitic comments. Well, Hollywood canceled him, even though Gibson showed remorse. So Downey showed compassion 
and courage by acknowledging that Gibson employed him while he was being shunned for substance abuse. Of course, Downey's statement drew fire from the despicable internet gutter snipes. Remember, the film industry is run by a very few people who demand total political conformity. The industry is a brutal place if you do not toe the line. Robert Downey Jr. showed true character in doing what he did. He showed courage and compassion, and his legacy should reflect that. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Let's go to the mail. We got Jillian. Bill, I think this is one of your great, your best columns. This is the one I wrote yesterday, The Trump Dilemma. You lay out everything about Trump in what I believe is fair and impartial way, and you're not emotional about it, which is more than I can say for the mainstream media. Dr. Eduardo, uh, I agree with everything you said in your piece. This is a dilemma, and I can understand all too well why President Trump feels the way he does. Swamp progressives left have hounded this man mercilessly over eight years. There's no end in sight. It's true. He's angry, and I understand his anger, too. But if he wants to really help the country, he's got to discipline himself. Carlos Fernandez, Santander, Spain. I've been to Santander. Very nice town. I'm perfectly content to let Nikki Haley stay in a race because she's helping the Democrats make the case against Donald Trump. I would never vote for her because she's a hypocrite and a phony. I don't know if she's a hypocrite and a phony. I haven't seen that. I don't particularly like her, but I haven't seen that. Donna Gordon, Lexington, Kentucky. Can the family of the Georgia victim sue the Biden administration for her death? Yeah. But they have to do it in a shrewd, calculated way. Rob Rumba, Mechanicsburg, Virginia, would love your take on the CBS firing of Catherine Herridge. It's outrageous seizing her confidential file. Look, the reason I haven't weighed in on the Catherine Herridge story is because I don't know what it is. And neither do you and neither does anybody else. Ms. Harris hasn't said a, th- a word. Her attorneys haven't said a word, and I assume she has them. I don't know what CBS did or why they did it. How am I going to analyze a story like that? I'm waiting for either Catherine herself, whom I know, or one of her attorneys to define the story, and then I can analyze it. Can't analyze stuff you don't know. It doesn't stop most people, but it stops me. In a moment, something you might not know. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800-925-7584. 800-925-7584. For a free quote, this protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800 925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. After Saturday's victory in South Carolina, Donald Trump has defeated Nikki Haley and, barring a catastrophic event, will become the Republican nominee for president. By this time next year, it is conceivable Mr. Trump will be the second president in American history to serve two non-consecutive terms. The first was the rotund Grover Cleveland. Here is his story. Born in 1837, Grover first worked as a lawyer before becoming the mayor of Buffalo, New York. Later, he was elected governor of New York, then president in 1885. The Democrats' first term was plagued by personal drama He admitted paying child support to a woman who claimed he secretly fathered her son. Then, while in office, 
the 49-year-old commander-in-chief married a 21-year-old college student. The scandalous Cleveland lost his re-election campaign to Republican Benjamin Harrison. But Grover was not finished. Four years later, he launched another bid for the White House, this time defeating Harrison in both the popular and electoral vote counts. However, Cleveland's second term was derailed by the worst financial crisis in the country's history up to that time. The Panic of 1893 began with a railroad bankruptcy, followed by bank failures, a nationwide credit crisis, and a stock market crash. Unemployment rose to 19 percent. A series of strikes crippled the coal and transportation industries. Well, that was it for Cleveland. And after leaving the White House, he retired to his Princeton, New Jersey home, where he died of a heart attack at the age of 71. Grover Cleveland's final words, I have tried so hard to do right. And here's something else you might not know. President Cleveland also holds a more onerous place in U.S. history. He is routinely ranked the unhealthiest president of all time because he weighed in at 300 pounds. His daily diet included copious amounts of beer and cigars. His penchant for tobacco led to a decade-long fight with throat cancer. Back after this. Do you want more online safety and privacy? I know I do. That's why I started using NordVPN. It guards me against various internet threats. Digital trackers, malicious websites, and malware-infected downloads back off. I choose to browse with more confidence. I choose NordVPN. To avoid digital threats, turn on NordVPN. It's trusted by millions of users. Just visit NordVPN.com. One of the fastest VPNs on Earth will block web trackers, malicious websites, and malware-ridden downloads. It will also encrypt your internet traffic while maintaining a smooth connection. So improve your digital privacy and protection against hackers with one simple click. Get the special deal at NordVPN.com and enjoy safer internet daily. NordVPN. Cybersecurity built for every day. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. For more news and honest analysis, please go to BillOReilly.com. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.